Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Srayoun is going to present you about, Types of Methodology. Introduction to Types of Methodology The methodology is an entire analysis made systematically and theoretically implemented in the field of study. It contains the principles and objectives of the methodology related to the branch of that knowledge. It encompasses ideas about various phases, paradigms, quantitative models, theoretical studies, and qualitative methods. The concept of the methodology is not to give a solution to your problems, instead of underpinning the steps considered as a solution is marked and processed to calculate the correct result. So this article explains about the different methodologies implemented for solution analysis is briefly explained. Hi everyone, types of methodology with explanation. The analysis and principles used to employ the discipline of any concept should be distinct and noted. The systematic idea of the methods should be implemented in the discipline of concepts and explain the methodology description. Before starting any projects, the person should be strong in his methodology which is going to be implemented in his projects. The primary methodologies used by the people are mixed, quantitative, qualitative methods. Under these broad categories, few cases of the survey, self-reporting, research analysis, and other professional reports are submitted. The term methodology represents the outline which has to be undertaken for the gain of knowledge. It defines the means of data gathering and mode of data organization and gives the accurate result to be calculated. It doesn't represent any methods and attention provided to the kind and nature of the process to be followed in a proper procedure to achieve the objective. When there is a proper structure to study the concerned methodology it comprises to give a constructive and generic framework. It may be split down into chunks, sub-processes, combined, and changes in their sequences. The constructive framework is represented by the paradigm and the persistent development of paradigm mollifies any particular methodology. The algorithm is also similar to a paradigm that has a continuous framework, where the construction is based on logical data, instead of physical and sequence of connected components. Any description for result calculation is the same as a methodology that is significant with its epistemological meaning and limits the process of procedures. It also restrains its functionalities in organizing the set of tools and instruments that is applied in the methodology. In simple, it is a design made in the research of the project to develop the procedure of the project to achieve the desired outcomes by using or not using tools or instruments. In the process of methodologies, the methods cannot be interchanged. But in the past few years, the methodology and its steps led to chaos and misinterpretations which undergoes a suitable analysis that is implied in structuring the research. Hi everyone. 1. Qualitative research. The method of qualitative research aims to explore the specific process and is implemented not to prove any prediction. It is mostly implemented in the social sciences, education, interviews, observations, and other focus groups to collect the information. It provides raw data without any contextual information which is culturally synonymous and denotes personal information. The guide which is published by Famous Family Health internationally explained in detail the qualitative research methodologies. So it is better to refer to that before the person opts for any methodologies. The book helps to choose the correct way to gather the data among many available methods in the project analysis. Hi everyone. 2. Quantitative methodologies. This method is more meaningful than other qualitative methodologies. Here the analyst structures the hypothesis instead of describing or exploring the phenomena. It deals with statistical data and facts. Quantitative researches are implemented in medicinal and scientific fields. Hi everyone. 3. Mixed methodologies. This method comprises both quantitative and qualitative types of research. It uses different measures that involve both contextual interpretations like observation and interviews along with statistical facts. With the help of mixed methodologies, the analyst can investigate deeper on the topic on multiple stages. This deep analysis helps the analyst to gain different perspectives on common topics. The mixed methodology merges more philosophical concepts enabling for the perfect integration of varied theories and ideas. Hi everyone. 4. Designing Framework. Inside every methodology, different designs provide a philosophy or framework for the study. It is more different than the normal methods. For instance, if the design focus on describing or exploring a particular case, a group, or a person, the user requires various observations, self-reports, and interviews. It comprises various subjects to develop an entire picture. This picture or particular case gives a brief example of circumstances that can be categorized into a similar population. 
The focus to submit any project is not only to briefly describe the applied methods but to prove how and on what causes you implemented and demonstrated the research. The research should be based on the research questions and objectives. It should explain the objectives and the reader should select a suitable approach in solving all the occurred problem statements along with research questions. But the explanation of the entire section should never deviate from the central purpose of the project. But in qualitative researches, the analysis is dependent on images, observations, and languages which includes thematic analysis, content analysis, and discourse analysis. The discussion and categorization of words and their synonyms, sentences, and phrases are called content analysis. The coding and close examination of information to find the wide patterns and themes is called as thematic analysis the means of communication and their meaning concerning the social context is called discourse analysis. Some of the quantitative techniques used for ranking, measuring, categorizing, and finding the sequence to make it as generalized before implementing in the research. The best example of quantitative methods is conducting surveys. The qualitative techniques are suitable for interpreting, explaining, contextualizing, and gathering insights of particular concepts. The perfect example of a qualitative technique is conducting interviews. The mixed techniques are enabled by a combination of number measurements and deep explorations. Hi everyone. Conclusion. Market research is an important aspect of ensuring the startup to hit the high standards. The target marketing also provides a healthy competition by implementing the methodologies to attain a high profit. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, like and share to channel Dan Srayoun in order to get more videos. Thank you.